So this is our URI template. Now again, you meant, you'll see that uh, some of the things uh, right here it will bring in vital signs, uh, and now we have uh, different options about saying uh, you can tap down uh, and, and click on what they're what they're really here for. Um, part of the what I really love about uh, this is is you can um, you can get to so many places from one note. Uh, if we scroll down, um, let's maybe uh, show over. Uh, again, here's an exam. Now this exam is a little bit different because it's more pertinent for an upper respiratory infection as opposed to diabetes. So we're not having any diabetic exam here. Uh, we have, uh, you know, U eyes URI, which is a more simplified version, basically saying the conjunctive is clear. Um, one of the things you no notice here on this peak flow, because the nurse was instructed to do the peak flows before we open the note, it automatically pulls that in for you. Um, it's right there. Uh, you can order a strep test uh, by clicking on order strep. You can document it. Same thing with the flu. We've had a lot of H1N1 in our, off N1 in our office, and so that rapid flu positive for type A uh, is, uh, is going to be influenza. Um, we just did that because we had so much flu that we just changed this ourselves. Correct. So I, we need to put that on there because we do this all day long now. And that so. took us about 30 seconds to make that change. We didn't have to send off to tech support to ask them to change our, our template. Mm -hmm. um, for you, here's our whole list of, again, assessments. One of the things that I love is when I, for example, if I'm looking for this temp, the IC9 code for eustachian tube dysfunction, uh, I don't have to look that one up anymore. It's already, if you, uh, is it I not tapping? I'm just going to put, put text in there. Um, I was just going to show something. You could do okay. anything. He didn't have influenza here, I just noticed. So Correct. I like, oh, so I want to put influenza for my diagnosis. So I think it's probably that. So I can insert. I don't know where I inserted it, but I should have gone over here. So we have them all as quick, as something called quick text and practice partner, which are things that you can so make up. So do H1N1, if you will. So H1N1. So there's uh, insert that, and it's going to come right in. So even if, you're, uh, even if your diagnosis is not right here, it's about two clicks away in a mega list that you can quickly access. You don't have to look up any more codes. Um, you can click on all of these, you know, and it's basically it's gonna, you're going to have a bunch of, op uh, bu bunch of different IC9s right at your fingertips. And I remember I used to spend a lot of time, about 45 seconds, trying to pull out that big IC9 book, and I hated that thing. So this, is, uh, just, this has been great. I just showed uh, this. If you do Shift F8 with Practice Partner, it shows all their problem lists. So for instance, she's got H1N1, but you know what? She's got diabetes, so I'm going to add that on to that list because that's going to improve my coding. You know, so you can say, is there a problem from that, I'm, that she has underlying? And you just go to her list, and you can pull that in without too much trouble. Uh, here is the, if you click on this viral URI patient education, I, I try not to prescribe antibiotics for viruses. This is a common thing that I usually is documenting. You no longer have to sit there and dictate that line that you always say. You just tap one button and it will blow out to whatever you want it to say. You can order your medications from here. Uh, you don't have to remember doses for uh, maybe an obscure medicine that's relevant to that template any longer. Um, and uh, you can document what things are, you know, uh, let's tell Daisy that we want her to use humidified air. Uh, we want her to increase her fluids and follow up if she's not having fevers. Um, or if she's follow up if she starts having fevers or if her, she's not getting any better within seven to or 10 to 14 days. So that's, those are some of the things you can do. And again, when you sign off on your note, you're done. You don't have to, uh, and, and I'm doing this as I'm talking to the patient, asking them these questions. I'm sitting there tapping my computer. They're looking sometimes at the computer, sometimes they're not. And uh, it really makes for a, a smooth, efficient visit. 